What's up guys? Today we will be unboxing one of a popular air coolers Be Quiet Dark Rock 4. On the front side of the box you can find some key marketing facts such as 200 watts TDP, high end and etc. More technical information is listed on the back. Dimensions, noise levels, socket compatibility and more. Also, you can find more marketing feature-based info on the site. Let's take a look at what we have inside. The first item on the top is 135mm PVM fan. Since it's a bit bigger than most of the standard cooler fans, it will be able to spin slower and achieve low noise levels. At 100% speed, it should stay under 21.4 decibels. Stay tuned, since we will check our sound recording test a bit later. One more small box. Here you can find documentation in a few common languages as well as mounting accessories for a fan and a heatsink. You can find a mounting for an additional 120mm fan in case you want to run push-pull configuration. Just keep in mind that you need to order additional fans separately. Everything is prepared and packed to separate bags. One for Intel platform, another one for AMD and a separate bag for thermal paste plus coolers mounting bridge. Ok, it's time to take a look at our beautiful heatsink. Just after you take this thing out of the box, you will find a screwdriver. It's nice and you don't have to own any tools for assembling this. Worth to mention, it has a magnetic tip, so it's even easier. The heatsink looks nice and feels premium. It has black made color and as BigWad states, it's a special coating with ceramic particles. Paired with six copper heat pipes, it makes a perfect transfer of heat possible. As a result, this cooler can handle up to 200 watts TDP. We used this cooler in one of our builds and recorded sound levels with a mic at different fan speeds. Case and GPU fans were turned off but there was some little background noise coming from our PCU, which we couldn't control. It might seem that 100% fan load is really noisy, but you will hear me quietly whispering test so you could compare it. To sum up, it's a good looking premium CPU cooler and most likely you want to use it on overclockable processors or more premium looking non-OC let's say i7s or i9 builds. I hope this information was somewhat useful and see you next time.